You guys were presented a check today. Talk about what that means to you. What what happened? It uh, it means a lot. I don't know what we would do without everything that Johnstone has done. Um, starting with the furnace, I feel like they started through this whole domino effect of just everyone helping out. Um, they started with the furnace, and then you know we had all the people donating, and they're ending it <laughs> with this check. Um, so it's just it feels amazing to be able to just and the funny thing have is the support. We were told not to call them because they wouldn't help us, <laughs> and they're the ones who got everything going and uh, brought us up to par so far. So how does this change? It changes things dramatically. It, um, it it's gonna allow us to help more dogs and, and medically take care of more dogs. We've had lots of emergencies. Um, you know that you know uh, two months ago we wouldn't have had any idea how we were gonna pay for it. Um, and now this helps be able to, to when there is an emergency be able to pay for it. It'll help finish the building so we have a temporary placement for dogs when they come up. Tell me a little bit more about that building. So it's gonna be basically a, a shelter. I wouldn't say a shelter. Um, a lot of times when dogs come up, they, they could be here for an hour. They could be here for a couple it, of days. It'd be, it'd be used for intake. Correct. What else do you need? You talked about corporate sponsors. You talked about fosters. You talked about a vehicle. You can start wherever you'd like. We, we do absolutely need corporate sponsors. Um, this isn't like a one and done kind of deal. We're constantly pulling dogs. Um, it's just, it's, we, we need people to be able to just gift monthly. Um, know that that's coming in. We need fosters. We can only pull dogs if we have foster homes. So we need fosters. Uh, we need a transport vehicle. We need a new transport van. So there, there's a lot of things that we need. We need volunteers to help work on the building. We need volunteers to help come, you know, walk dogs when they're here, clean cages. Um, you know, when dogs leave, the, sometimes the volunteers leave. We need regular people. It took us three days just to clean crates. Um, and uh, we've got a line of crates that need cleaning again. So. We always need support and help in any way possible. And when she talks about fostering, okay, some people just want to straight up adopt, adopt a dog. So um, you can do that by fostering to adopt. So we provide all the things that you would need to foster. The crate, the food, the water, the toys. All you have to provide is the love. How can people contact you to find you? Uh, they can go to our website, hallsformiles.org a lot of foster application, adoption application. If they have no idea what kind of dog they want, they can just write on there. Uh, if their application is approved, we'll call them and we'll match them with the dog that they're looking for that would be beneficial to the dog as well. Anything you guys want to add? Anything you want to ask? Anything? Uh, we thank wanna, you so yeah. much to Johnstone. And for the community. And Everyone all the support, is jumping. the volunteers, um, and the donation. We, we needed it, we appreciate it, um, and we just wish it. we had more help like we got regular basis. We're still going to be here continuing to do what we do. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll just anything. So, but we appreciate everyone and what they've done so far. This has been absolutely amazing. Johnson started this, ended it with this, and this has just been unbelievable. We cannot thank Johnson and the community enough. Yeah. Yeah.